starting with the great name of almighty allah who is the most gracious and most beneficent is the next portion that is the design uh, procedure for the irrigation channel so certain things have to be kept in uh, mind while uh, designing the uh, channel or canal so uh, what is the channel and what is the uh, channel and canal the difference is just that the channel is the can be artificial or man made and canal is always the man made so that's what the difference is that a channel can be either artificial means net uh, either man made or naturally existed route for the uh, water but if the man made route is there for the water then that would be canal now talking about the cross section of an irrigation canal a typical and the most desired section is shown in this figure that is this section is partly in the cutting and partly in the filling and aim at balancing the quantity of earthwork in the excavation and that in the filling now while we uh, design or the uh, you know this is the ground level or you can say uh, natural uh, natural soil level so it's natural surface level or the ground Hello. level Hello. Yes, sir. Zero one. Can you yes, sir. just uh, uh, ex clear again or explain them briefly that what is partly in cutting and what yes, is partly sir. in filling? Yes, sir. I I I will. Ex I am explaining that. Okay. Now there are three conditions. firstly uh, when we will tries to construct or tries to make artificial canal firstly we will be given just this line that is the natural uh, uh, nsl that is a natural surface level this will be given then we will see that where the uh, this supply water uh, this is the flood surface level that you are saying that will be the supply or you can say uh, the net supply water so according to that net supply water we will decide whether cutting should be provided or just banking should be done so uh, the most uh, desired section is the one in which we provide the partly in cutting and partly in the filling means what we do firstly we tries to cut this uh, and excavate the portion in the trapezoidal shape uh, uh, at the ground level and the material that we are excavating we are going to dump it at the either sides in that conditions when we are saying that banking and cutting both are there and the material that we have excavated from the cutting we have dumped and made embankment that is basically the section that's why we say this section is partly in cutting and partly in filling this is cutting and this is filling and this is the most desired section we can also move for the bank to bank but it vary it depends on the supply supply of the water supply of the water <coughs> okay so that's what it is i will discuss these all terms but i think cutting and the uh, banking is clear yes. now the side okay, yes sir side slope the side slope should be such that they are stable depending upon the type of the soil and a comparatively steeper slope can be provided in the cutting rather in the filling now uh, see this figure and uh, this is the trapezoidal shape in the cutting all right now for example if i say i am going to make this canal like uh, you know trying a rectangular shape then what will happen if i could show you here if this would have been like this then again there will be a force of the soil onto it then soil would have tried to make uh, try to drag it and make a slopey structure to make it stable that's why uh, that's why what we do we tries to go for the trapezoidal shape and provide the uh, 
a steeper gradient at the cutting than at the banking because uh, here the uh, at the cutting portion is coming into the contact of the soil and it also depends which type of the soil and it varies like uh, uh, steeper slopes are made for the uh, made at the cutting and it also varies with the uh, uh, soil also means there is there can be even hard state strata there can be even the uh, silt, uh, clay can be there or in uh, sand can be there or any other soil so it also depends on the soil but uh, why we move for the trapezoidal or mostly we, we try to move for the trapezoidal is that for the stability purpose is the cutting is in the great much amount of in the contact with the soil and uh, with the this pressure what uh, if this pressure will be greater than this will again tries to create some slopey slopey uh, portion that's why we uh, that's why we uh, ourself make this slope so that uh, the stability should be maintained at the slope side okay then uh, 